Sandy, this is Al. We are together with our friend, mentor, amazing ever. Dr. Tom Hill. You came into our life through synchronicity. Mm -hmm. Brett Blair introduced us. Yeah. And we have been forever changed by getting to know you. So my first question I have is we just wrapped up the phenomenal summit. This is like my ideal vacation, new locations, intelligent conversation, people helping each other. How do you feel after a summit each time? I feel really two ways. One is almost uh, empty from all the conversations and all the connections and the new people and the stories and trying to assimilate all that into my life. But then also I feel it's, it's, uh, exhilarated. Is that the right? Exhilarated. Exhilarated. Uh, the power of connections. Mm -hmm. the power of that is you can't, you can't make that happen. And the power of the stories. Just people's stories are insanely awesome. Yeah. Just incredible. Yeah. So my question for you is, what's one thing that you would wish people would ask Tom Hill, but they never do? I guess the one question is, uh, and I love that Richard Leader's comment, the two most important days of your life are the day you're born and the day you find why you're born. I wish people would ask me, what can I do to make a difference in my life and in other people's lives? And for some reason, when I, when I first started down this path, and my life took off, you know, some credit goes to Jim Rohnecourt, was I was just so excited, and I went and I told Jim, I got to meet him, and I said, my brother is selling vegetables out of the back of his truck. He's smarter than me. He's got a higher IQ than me. I'm so frustrated. And Jim said, Tom, just be fascinated. Just, you know, you can't make it happen. You just, just be fascinated. But be ready when the time. Well, I know that since we got to know you, you probably watched a little bit of our journey. We were initially on a podcast with you in, I think, January of 2009. Mm -hmm. And call. Yep. thanks yep. to the people that we've met through connections with the, the people in the summit and the network and the personal growth we've gone through, I would say our lives completely reinvented themselves and in amazing ways. Not that it wasn't amazing before, but we couldn't have even imagined how great it is now. One well, of my favorite sayings is, one person who's attracted to you because who you become can change your life a little And that's... Well, I think, I think for me the key is you've provided the place to create headspace. So when I come, the, my motive for being here is not what I get, mm -hmm. but who I become. Simply, it, it puts me in another space where I can think differently than I normally do. And we've fortunately created a really cool culture, and everyone that, that's around us, we live in that space. But this is like on hyperspeed. It's a whole other place because it's it's unfamiliar but familiar. You know, we know most of the people, but not all the people, and we know most of their stories. But it, it puts me in a whole different place each, each and every time it comes. So I really appreciate that because it just allows me to become the better version of me. I'm each sitting on my time. back porch in 1998 and I'm thinking, who don't want to hang around? You know, so my company. And I'm thinking, you know, locally, people know a lot of different people. You know, churches and clubs and all that. But when they go to national meetings, they go in their professions. I thought, like, wouldn't it be interesting to put a group of people together? Well, we're fairly successful. We want to make a difference and just see what happens. So we had our first one in 1999, and here we are. <laughs> 51 later. Yeah. And we've certainly been fortunate to have been part of the last, you know, what, 15, 16, 17 of them, which is crazy how the years have gone already. But it continues each and every time to give me a new headspace to live in. Which so, was your first one? Uh, the VY in New Orleans. Well, that's right. Yep. New Orleans. <laughs> yep. That was uh, that was February. We had just been on that conference call with you, with your Hell yeah. Hills Angels, and you said, "Well, why don't you come to?" And, and Brett two weeks later, Brett did want to go. Some trauma at the time, and we dragged him with us. And we sat down that night that we were leaving, and said, "You're coming with us tomorrow morning." Say is history. Yeah. Yeah. And wasn't that yeah. even synchronicity meeting, Brett? Absolutely. Yeah. We wouldn't a set meeting with y'all. Yeah. yeah, it was random. He was yeah. looking for a group, and I sent him a note. It said hugs at the end. And, and hugs was and enough to get him off his yeah. keister and do something about it. We often also tell people to reach out to someone who's really profoundly changed their life, and I would like you to know that you are one of those Well, people. thank you. I appreciate that. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, hey, hey I, I'm right with you on that one because I think. Uh, <laughs> I, I look at just what's happened, and, and I've lived an extremely blessed life, and we've had, all had our challenges, we've all had things happen, but really since becoming part of this, 
and being a part of such an amazing group of people, I recognize how much I need to change each and every time. And I, again, I live this, this moment to moment. That's why this weekend was perfect for me, is I live very much today in the moment. I didn't live in the moment. And I've learned to string those moments together to create amazing memories. Isn't and this great was just, it's phenomenal. And, and that's really, I think from the last summit, the takeaway the last time was, I think I even wrote down in my book about how living in the moment has become so important to me. And now it's reinforced three or four months later that, that that's exactly what's happening in our lives is we're just living moment to moment and loving the experience. Simon's theme, it, it was very much, he spoke exactly to me last night. It was like he was describing my life. He was describing what's happened with our company. He's describing what's happened in, in the family and all of it. it was like, are you sure he's not in my head right now? Because he was literally talking about all the things that are happening physically in my life right now. That so happens very, quite a bit. It does. It does. Yeah. It very much does. Without trying to set it up, you know, I didn't yeah. invite him to come talk about the moment. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it, was, it just was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of just being. Mm -hmm. And he even mentioned that about that importance of just being and allowing it to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we look forward to 30 more years of summit. That's right. We love you <laughs> And we love you, Tom, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Isn't that amazing story? Steve Miller's been doing that to me ever since he, he told that story. It was really great. He came up to me last night. I love you, all. There's just nothing you can do about it.